All right, time for another math easy solution. Here we're going to discuss inverse trigonomic functions and look at uh, inverse cos, inverse sine, inverse tan. That's how you would write them. And you could also, there's also written as arc cos, uh, arc sine, and arc tan. There's also another way of writing it, like tan x or whatnot. So basically, if you saw my other video on what inverse functions are, so if we look at inverse, you can see on, so basically inverse functions, if you have a function like y equals f of x, you would switch the um, x and y, switch x and y, so you'll get something like x equals f of y. So yeah, so basically we want a function, we want x and a function of y, or written as y is equal to f to the negative one of x. So you would switch them and solve for it. So this this is basically an yeah, inverse function. And also in my other video I showed that it needs to be one to one. And you can see my other video on one to one. One function. And this uh, is important in when we look at trig, I'll show you show you why. Okay, so let's look at uh, actually a sine function right now. So let's go with let's go y equals sine of x. So right here we would again we would switch the x and y so we'll be x equals sine y and then we would solve for y and then we would define it because we don't have the definition of we'll just go the inverse would be sine negative one of of x or equals to arc sine of x. So you can write it either way. So basically what this is saying is if you have something like this let's say so you have a, just, um, an angle here, an angle, right angle triangle. This is, let's call this X. So basically we'll call this A, B, C. So basically what this is saying, this is because this is, um, so sine of X would be, so sine of X equals to basically A over C, that's opposite over hypotenuse. But now with uh, the inverse, this this one you put the uh, a a over c inside so this is kind of it's switched so this is x so basically we get the ratio and that equals x so that's basically what it is but the problem here is we got to look at this it needs to be one to one so if we were to graph it let's go graph it right here so we get all x let's graph sine of x okay so we would go like it would, it would be something like this Where the this one right here is pi over two. This is three pi over two. And yeah, and basically here is two pi. So the yeah, the problem here now is it's not one to one because if you draw a horizontal line or whatever, it has infinite values. So what you would do here is actually specify yeah, so you'd actually take a range, and most commonly the range, like we would just define a domain here. So we would go from here. So we'll stop right here. So this is called negative pi over two. So so we only take this, we only consider this in the inverse. So basically what we're saying is we restrict the domain. Yeah, two uh, basically x is less than or equal to pi over two and greater than or equal to pi over two. This is so that we will have a one to one relationship. So it would be like this. So if we draw x, y. So now we're gonna we're gonna just draw that. So this would be here. This would be something like this. This is this is pi over two negative. This is pi over two. And this value is one and this is uh, basically negative one. So basically, now here it's a one-to-one -one function because if we go anywhere else, it starts repeating itself. So basically, it kind of goes like that, right? This is the real function. So this is we'll call this. This is what we restricted our domain to so sine of x. Then if we do the inverse, all we do is actually just switch the yeah, the y. All, like when we do inverse, we switch every single point. So we'll have something like this. Yeah, so the inverse would actually look something like well, if we say this point here is this is pi over two and one. We switch them so that you will get one and pi over two. Uh, pi over two, so this is pi is three point something like that. So it's gonna be greater than one. So then one would be, let's say, somewhere here. Because domains and ranges switch. You see my inverse functions general uh, video, you'll see why. 
So basically we switch them and then this pi over 2, let's just say something over here, pi over 2. So then this point gets switched over to here and it's a number, it's a reflection off of the x-axis. I mean the y equals x line, I mean. Yeah, so this line actually looks something, it would look something like this. And then since over here it's going to be the same thing, um, it would be like this, be negative. Yeah, so let's go negative 1. Actually, all the way here, this would be, call this pi over 2, negative pi over 2. Because we know pi over 2, yeah, it's greater than 1. So then this would be something like, like this, call it like that. So this is how this graph would look like. And this would just be sine of uh, negative x. So that's the inverse of it. And also, yeah, it's a reflection off of the y equals x line. y equals x line. Okay, so we have this one. Now let's look at uh, cosine and tan. So if we have y equals cosine x, so similarly we'll have, we'll just we'll graph this one out. So we, again we have a, it, it's not a one-to-one -one function, so we have to s restrict the domain. So basically we have something like this. So we, we can't pick the same, uh, yeah, we can't pick, this is negative pi over 2. This is pi over, yeah, this is pi over 2. So we can't pick these because it's going to be not a one to one, it's going to cross there. So we would just, most most textbooks usually just pick this from here, 0. And this this one would be from, what is this, 3 pi over 2. Nope. No, I mean this is pi, yeah. So most textbooks use from here to here, so we restrict it from these two. So we only take this, and then if we were to draw it separately, so we'll just draw it, let's say, we'll just draw it in another page. So we'll draw that separately. So basically we got, this is x, this is y. Let's call this, uh, let's call this 1. Yeah, and this is basically, it goes like this. And this is pi. So we go from 0 to pi. And then uh, this is the, yeah, this, so we restrict it from 0 to pi. So we go x is less than pi, greater than 0. And this is basically cosine x. And then the inverse, again, you can do reflect it off the y equals x line. Or we just switch points. So this one is 1 and 0. It's going to be 0 and 1 now. We'll just call this, that's pi. And this is pi over 2 here. So it would be somewhere here. And let's, let's say pi is here. It's not, not the scale, but when so let's, we'll call this one, this would be 1. So we'll start here. And then pi over 2 would be somewhere here where it would be 0. I'll call this somewhere there, pi over 2. So it would be something like this. It would go like that. So it would be something like this. And this would be cosine x. So that's how the inverse would look like. And it would stick here. Yeah, so the reason why you actually are restricted, I showed that other video, is so if you have... So if you pick one value of x, let's say 0, let's say x equals 0. So then, co because this one cosine 0 has many values, and that's not a function. Because it, yeah, it won't, so that, that's not a one-to-one -one function, so we're going to have many values across. So you can't put in a calculator because it's, you get infinite, infinite numbers. So it needs to be, have one unique. So that's why. So now, so now let's look quickly at tan, then we'll do some examples. Let's go to Let's go across y equals tan x. So the graph of this one's a bit different because you have infinite stuff. So you have an undefined section. So let's go x, y. So the graph of this one, this one actually looks something like this. And then this is actually, yeah, this is negative pi over 2. This is pi over 2. 2 and this goes to infinity. These are asymptote lines. So this goes to infinity and but then it keeps repeating. So it's going to be something like uh, yeah, something like that. Or it's, it should hit the cross there somewhere. Yeah, so it's going to be something like this. Yeah, so it's going to be something like this. So then it, this one's easier one to pick out. So we'll just pick this section. We'll, we'll, so we'll restrict it there so it's a one to one over there. And so let's just draw this by itself. So we'll, we'll, we'll Restrict the domain between x is pi over 2 and greater than negative pi over 2. 
So we restrict the domain for that, and if we draw it separately, and then we could get the inverse of it. So we'll get something like this. Call this x. This is y. So this would be something like like this. This is pi over two, and this one goes something like that. You can see my other video on y looks like this. So we restrict it from there, and then. So again, now we switch the domains and ranges. So this, since this is, let's go, let's write it something like pi over 2. Let's go pi over 2 and infinity. Uh, we, if we switch it, we get something like pi over infinity and then pi over 2. So then we would go, so this is the y now. For If we do the inverse, so if we call this one, yes, yeah, so if we call this, this is tan of x in the restricted restricted domain. So now what we have here is pi over 2. So now we go to uh, infinity and pi over 2. So infinity all the way here, but then pi over 2 is the y. This is pi over 2. So it would actually look just something like this. It would look something like this. And then, yeah, so this is the new asymptote for the y equals x line, um, for the inverse. And then this one's negative pi over 2, and this goes to negative infinity. So we would just go with something like this. So that's how this one would look like. So I'll show no, actually another video. I'll do some examples on solving with uh, inverse trig. So this was, this one is basically, um, yeah. So that's what the inverse of it looks like. So it goes like this and over there. So now if we even I'll show another video on examples of it, how to solve it. But let's look at the um, the graph of it through the calculator. Okay, so now let's uh, drag this in here and let's actually let's actually graph it with this. It's a bit easier to see. Let's go with sine x. We'll draw all the same time. Uh, arc sine. So you would just write arc sine of x. And then let's also call, let's just also graph x. So yeah, it's so basically, yeah, you see it here. So the red is the arc sine. So you, as you can see, it stops right there. So this one keeps going, but doesn't restrict the domain. And then it's, it's uh, yeah, so the, this is the y equals x line. So it's just a reflection of it. And it stops only at the, at the pi over 2. It's somewhere there. So 3.14, which is pi divided by 2, is somewhere around here. So that's how that one looks like. So if we were to go let's say another tab, go to the search one again. We can graph this one as, let's go with uh, cosine x, um, arc cos x, and x. Yeah, so as you can see here, the, it, it, it does the same thing that we did before. So it would... It, it graphed from 0 to pi, and pi is 3 points, 1, 4, whatever. And so it's a reflection off of this, this line. But uh, yeah, it, it uses from here, yeah, basically, to here. So that's how it looks just like the graph we did. So if we were to go, let's just copy this one. So the same thing, let's just, it's easier to switch it. Let's go to switch this to 10. And 10, let's see how this one looks like. Yeah, so this looks basically similar to ours. See how it keeps going, but we only for the inverse we only look at that restricted domain. So this red one is arctan, or the inverse, and see so, yeah, how it's reflection off of. So this is really good, easier to see here. It's a reflection off of this line. See how this reflects off the y equals x line. So this looks pretty sweet. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll do another video on uh, examples of how to actually use apply these in solving solving for um, angles and whatnot given the ratio of given the ratio of your triangle like in this case well yeah this is basically our arc sine arc cos arc tan or inverse arc inverse trig well thanks for watching hopefully you learned and um, stay tuned for another math easy solution